<laughs> oh dear, I think I've just been having a couple of technical issues. So let's start that again. I've been trying to, I've been talking for 10 minutes and then somebody kindly told me I wasn't actually live. So just when I want to do something a bit fancy, might we'll go back to basics. But anyway, let's start again. <laughs> okay, I was about to actually make something but I will get back to that in a minute. Okay, quick introduction. Hi, I'm Tina, <laughs> Tina Hewitt from Adelaide, South Australia. And um, my, um, my uh, bundle that I'm looking at today is called Floating and Fluttering from the mini catalogue. So I hope you've been enjoying our um, videos so far. You know, uh, we're all still learning how to do all this and um, so um, yeah, we've uh, we've just got to do a bit more practice, and then um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But anyway, I'll just change it to my desktop view, so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so um, floating and fluttering is my is the bundle I chose, and this is a a really um, really lovely butterfly set. I just love butterflies, um, and uh, when I saw this image in the catalogue with the the cards I really like this idea the floating frame technique um, I, I've done one oh, a while ago a year or so ago and um, that was quite difficult quite tricky to do but with um, this particular set it would make it a little bit easier um, I'll explain that in a minute um, but I haven't actually done one with it yet but that's what I'll be doing uh, in an, in the near future anyway but there are some nice samples there so this bundle has got um, the floating and fluttering um, stamp set in it so it's just just butterflies we've got outline images we've got filler images and we've got some greenery as well and a frame um, frame image there and then the dies the dies that go with that uh, it's called the fluttering dies and we've got um, quite a lot of dies in this so uh, we have these two which are identical they cut out the large um, stamped image the outline image of the butterflies and the greenery uh, and then we've got some individual dies that will cut out the the greenery as well so um, and then we've got this little um, one here which actually embosses as well and I've cut out a pink one there just to show that to you so um, I've made a few um, cards with this this set I'll just put that aside for a minute okay This was the first one that I've made and um, I was this I was really going to uh, demonstrate how I made that one today but um, I thought this is going to take quite a while because there's a lot of colouring in um, with um, the stamping blends um, but I find colouring very relaxing so it is it's sort of a, a very you know quiet activity and just sit and colouring and then um, all your stress goes away so um, but this, with this one here, I used Rococo Rose um, stamping blends. So the light and the dark colours just colour in the individual butterflies. Um, and then I used um, a mint macaron, I think it was mint macaron. Yeah, light and dark mint macaron for the greenery. Um, and then I just created this background with this large stamp and um, and coloured them in and then um, put that onto a card base a standard card base with the happy birthday greeting and a little bit of ribbon so because the background really is the, um, the most important bit of the card you don't want to um, have a, a great big panel in the middle because you've done all that work and you don't want to cover it up so I, I went for something very simple in the middle and on the inside I've got this little little line of dots which is another stamp in the set 
Okay, so that's my first one. Then um, I decided to do a very similar one. I just bring that one in again. So it's basically the same layout, um, but instead of colouring them in with the blends, I actually used the stamps, the filler stamps, to colour in the um, outline images. So this, these are two step stamps, or even three set stamps, which I'll show you in um, a little while shortly, because that's the one I'll actually be making today. So, all right. And the last one that I've made is this one. So um, the thinking of you comes from another set, comes from a field of flowers stamp set. This, this one shows that you can cut out all these butterflies in one go and um, and they're still attached and then you can layer that onto a, a label shape which is one of the dies in the set and then I've just um, put that up on dimensionals onto a embossed background and then onto a card base there so um, they're my the cards that I've made with that um, I will show you the other two that I've made with the um, the other set I'm showing today so okay um, the celebration stamp set that I'm going to um, just be showing this one approaching perfection so this is a free one that you can get with a $90 order and so these words are handy to use for um, when you've got other stamp sets that um, don't have a lot of words in and you just need something for a, a greeting or you want to send a fun card to somebody. So uh, you may have noticed the happy birthday there. That's the one I actually used on these two cards here. So that's from that set. Um, this is another card that I've made with the happy birthday and I've also used the candles, the balloons, and I like that saying, the bad news is I forgot your birthday, the good news is I forgot your age. So um, I, I think I've got a few people that will appreciate that card. Um, and I've just used some of the celebration paper just cr to create that background for that card and laid it onto um, Whisper White and then onto uh, Rococo Rose card base. That's that one. And another fun saying in that set is this one. Newsflash, birthdays found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest. Well, yeah, um, that goes to show. So um, this one, I thought I'd just um, create a very um, simple, quite striking background. This is a technique that's been around for a little while. Um, and uh, just using, this is actually some of our free paper from the celebration paper and it's actually one of the six by six sheets that is this colour which is Blackberry Bliss on one side and then um, this colour Granny Apple Green on the other side so I've just used almost one six by six um, sheet to make this panel here and that's onto black and then onto a white card base, that one so, um, this is me while I grow a drink. Okay, so for this card, I'll just bring my cards back in so you can see what I've got here. So I've got all my um, supplies here to make this green card. A little bit of ribbon, a little bit of white and black. Back on. Oh, I didn't show you the inside of this. What I decided to do there was I um, recreated this little bit along the bottom there. So that's where you write um, your greeting the person. So I've got two sets of those. One goes on the inside, one goes on the front. I just create this pattern. So, so the background you'll need Memento, Memento Black, move this a bit out of the way, it's up there, 
so I can, you can see what I'm doing. Now because uh, this stamp block is bigger than the stamp pad, I always take the stamp pad to the, um, the block rather than the other way around. So I'm just going to stamp this one up the top here, put that a nice press there. So that's good. And um, the beauty about these um, polymer stamps is, of course you can see through them, so when you are doing a background like this and you want to fill in that and not leave too big a gap, you want to just, just you can see where you're going to be stamping. So, so this is going to be just slightly different to that one. That's that's all right. It's just just see. Thinking that up really well. Put one down there. This one here. Okay. And one more. That will. That will do it. Okay. So that's my background. And um, of course with your polymer stamps, the best thing to clean it is your chamois. So I've got my chamois here. I like to clean them fairly well straight away. Um, okay. Keeps the staining down to a minimum. Okay, so I've got my background. Now, I decided that with these big, bigger butterflies, I'm going to be using crushed curry and pumpkin pie. So, I just got to be a little bit out of um, shot there. And with these solid stamps, what I do is tend to just stamp on the paper once or twice just to get a good image um, and then just not so I know that there's a, enough ink on the stamp and because this is a polymer you can see through it and line it up okay that's good and then I'll do this one here So I'll do all, all the um, the bigger butterflies the same colour, and then I'll do the um, the next size different colour. Okay, so that that one is the second step. That one. Let's get off the excess ink there um, and then I will need pumpkin pie this is darker orange and that is going to go so this is a funny little image so this adds the little dots and a little bit of um, detail in the middle of the wings so I'm just going to line that up at the top there yep so that 
just adds a bit of depth to the um, colour of the butterfly. That there. This up. Okay, where that goes. Yep. Half a butterfly there, so I've got to work out where where to line that up. Okay, now this one I've got the whole butterfly. So yeah, that's this is coming along, and then I'll do that one there. Okay. So that's that one. Next one I'll do is this one here. So I've got Blushing Bride and Calypso Coral. Oh, so I'm doing this one here. It's the solid image. all of those um, yep I can't see any more and so then I'll use Calypso Coral for the third layer second layer on top of the outline so it's the third step So this adds a really funky pattern to the butterfly. I quite like it actually. I think it's cool. Yeah, that's nice. I like that one. And I'll do this one. The edge there. Right. Okay. So that's that one. And then my other butterfly. Is going to be a blue one. Let's put this over there. Bring in my blue ones. So I've got um, Balmy Blue and Seaside Spray. So Balmy Blue is the lighter one. That one first. At the top. Okay. How have I got many? I've only got two of those. That's okay. Right. Uh, I think that's it, unless I've got any on the edge. And no, I've just got antenna there no that's that one and then I've got seaside spray <clears throat> this is a this is a um, interesting little thing I can I, it took me a while to work out what it was so it just does the edge of this butterfly here. This adds a very subtle thing. And what I'm going to do is actually going to go over it twice. Just to darken it a little bit more. Yep. And same with this one. Go over it twice. 
another layer just to darken it a little bit more. Okay, so that's my butterflies. So now I've just got the greenery. So just I just did them all in the one colour, which is Granny Apple Green. All right, this is the leaf first. So let's just check that. Check that the stamp pad's got enough ink on it. Okay, and then as this just goes on the leaves, the stems aren't stamped at all. Uh, don't have any colour in them, so I'll just go around. Go around my card and fill in all the um, the bigger leaves first, and then I'll do the the little green, the smaller leaves. So. So that one, I didn't line that up perfectly, so I'll just, I'm just going to stamp over it again, just shift it a little bit. Go to fill that in, which you can do, um, and it just makes it a little bit darker. So, okay. And one more in here. Yep. Okay, that's that one. Then those little leaves. Just, just the whole, whole branch. So you just got to look through the stamp and um, see that they're all lined up. And um, I'll just show you a little tip in a minute from um, with these two step stamps. Because stamping up are really, really clever. They, their artists are so clever with these things. Okay. So on the on the packet, just to make it easier, this is this weird, funny little stamp. They have there they put it next to this one so that you can say that goes with that one this one goes with that one and then you've got the leaves uh, which close to that and then that will go on there but and this is a separate little leaf and then with this one you've got um, that's the that's the big one and then this is a, this is the one that goes on top so they pair them together on the box so you can see that how they go together. So that's my panel, um, all coloured. So then the rest is just really easy. It's just layering it all together. Oh, okay, and I'll show you the inside bit, how I did that. Um, this is a little tip I learned years and years and years ago. Um, when, when you're doing if you're doing a little border and the stamp doesn't go all the way across, uh, what you do is you start in the middle first. Like that. And then you stamp on either side. And that will That's just one way of doing it. I mean, if you start at this end, then you do another one. You'll have just a little bit on that end. But it depends on the stamp. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't when you do it that way. But this way, it'll just look like even border all the way across. So, that that's just going to be laid on that. And the um, quickest way to do that is just to use... Is a liquid multi purpose glue, which I keep in a little, little holder, keep it upside down. This gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Just that. 
and then that's going to go on the inside of my card oops nearly put it upside down Have you ever done that? Oh, I, I've done that heaps of times. I put, created a card, created the front, and then opened the card and found I've done it upside down. Well, yeah, we all do that. So that's stressed too much. <laughs> so. And what I'll do, I'll just show you what I do with the um, with the ribbon. So I've used the um, multi-purpose glue to do that. When I attach the ribbon to my card, to this matted panel, um, I, I don't like to put glue on the back. So I use I use this the um, seal um, or the seal plus, whichever one works for you. I use this and I just go around the edge of the mat and then I put, I hold the ribbon there wherever I'm going to put it. I don't put it in the middle, I usually put it a little bit down. It looks a bit more pleasing to the eye for some reason. Let's put that and just tuck it around the back and so that is that is stuck on the back there and then that's got enough adhesive on it to stick on the card front okay so I've got the happy birthday that's from this set perfection uh, right. oh, I'll just grab a block okay and a memento these off cut strips from when I'm cutting uh, panels for cards when I cut these down and I have um, bits like that left over and they're great for all these um, greeting stamps so I save all of those um, and now I've got that and that what I might do let's use my little chopper little chopper here to um, that down yep that's all right there um i know what i didn't do but that's okay so that's 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 my greeting now uh, i've um, got a little bit of black here uh, it's a little bit bigger than i want Let's see if I can do this. I'm just going to stick this greeting. eyeballing it okay. that's pretty good and I'm just gonna line this up on here Drop 
that bit off there. And that's my grating there. Okay, and that's just going to sit on there. I'll use um, these dimensionals, mini dimensionals, just to stick that on there, and um, and then that's that's my card finished um, for today. So just get rid of these, yeah, and I'll just grab something. Another little tip for you. Make this one a little bit different to the other one. Right. All right, you may have noticed I have a smudge here. This happens from time to time. Now, yeah, so <laughs> I get a bit of ink on my fingers and I just smudge it. So, in cases like that, bring out your trusty... Um, Rhinestones, I think I'll uh, use champagne rhinestones on this one. And I'll just sprinkle a few around and I'll put one there just to hide the smudge. So, look, you know, there's no, somebody once said to me, I don't know if I entirely agree with it, but she says, there aren't any mistakes, only creative opportunities. So this is a creative opportunity. So I'm just going to put a couple more rhinestones around. I'll do one more there. Right, just to make <laughs> disguise the fact that I've got a big smudge under there, which you can't see now, can you? But you can see a few little uh, rhinestones and it just looks lovely on the card. It looks very deliberate. So there you go. That's a little tip for you. Um, little smudges are easily covered up. Um, if it's a big smudge, we, well, you can turn over and do it again. That is, <laughs> and start again. But I didn't want to do that for this card, so um, I'm quite happy with that. And then inside, I've got my little border down there. So that's that one. That was the first previous one I made. Very similar. And I'll bring in my other cards again. That's that one. And one's falling on the floor. That one. Let me go for time. I'm way over time. But um, that's. I started a little bit later than I intended to because. I had a few technical issues. So here we go. So that's what I've created today. I hope you've enjoyed that video. And I hope you've enjoyed the day with everybody's fantastic creations. And don't forget, we've got this special for um, this event. So if you place an order with one of us by 5 p.m. on Friday, the 5th of February, then um, if it's over $90, then not only will you get a celebration freebie, get to choose which one that you want um, and you will get free shipping so um, that'll, that'll save some dollars and uh, if you haven't got a, um, a catalogue let please contact one of us um, your demonstrator and um, get the catalogue uh, sent to you or you pick it up and um, I hope to see you in the next um, event that we have and um, you can always pop over to all of our Facebook pages and uh, check out our, what our other creations. So I will um, see you soon. I'll say bye for now and hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.